Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem and here is the news. For 532 days, Ukraine defends itself against the forces of the Russian invasion. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky informed that he held several meetings with the military. At the meeting of the staff, they discussed the current situation at the front, the main directions of Ukraine's offensive actions and plans for the near future. Separately, they discussed Ukraine's needs in ammunition and equipment. Yesterday, Germany announced another tranche of military aid to Ukraine, reports European Pravda. Among the equipment transferred are two launchers of the Patriot anti-aircraft missile complex. In addition, Ukraine received 6.5 thousand artillery smoke ammunition, 10 BV-206 tracked all-terrain vehicles, 5 border guard vehicles, and 4 vector reconnaissance drones, explosive ordnance disposal materials, more than 1,000 binoculars and 20,000 safety glasses. 6 8x8 tractor units and 5 semi-trailers, 2 8x6 heavy trucks with containers and 40,000 first aid kits. The president thanked Germany and Chancellor Olaf Scholz personally for the support that will definitely save thousands of lives of Ukrainians. At the same time, Volodymyr Zelensky stressed that Ukraine needs more air defense systems as well as F-16 fighters. Earlier, Russia shelled the city of Zaporizhia, hitting a church and a residential building. As a result, at least two people were killed and eight wounded. A powerful explosion took place on a military plant near Moscow, reports Ukrainska Pravda. A strong blast wave knocked out windows in nearby buildings. As a result of the explosion, 60 people were injured, eight were considered missing. Four buildings were completely destroyed and another 20 were damaged. An official Russian media report about 10 killed. According to the media, the plant was producing optical and mechanical equipment for the Russian army as well as participated in the development of a new generation of stealth bomber. Later in the day, a fire erupted near the Moscow airport of Domodedovo. Russian state media RIA Novosti informed with reference to the regional Ministry of Emergency Situations that a car repair shop on an area of 1,000 square meters is on fire. The Russian telegram channel Shot claims, citing local residents, that the cause of the fire was the explosion of gas. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian forces have struck a control point of the Russian army in the occupied settlement of Novokakhovka on the left bank of Kherson Oblast, reports Channel 5. The Directorate of Strategic Communications of the Armed Forces of Ukraine published a video confirmation of the strike. Commander of the Tavria Operational and Strategic Group of Forces in Ukraine's South, Brigadier General Oleksandr Tarnavsky, also informed that Ukrainian troops destroyed eight enemy ammunition storage points, reports Espresso. Commander of the Ground Forces of Ukraine, Colonel General Oleksandr Sirsky, said that the Russian forces have chosen the Kupiansk Front in the Kharkiv region as the main focus of their offensive, reports Ukrainska Pravda. They created an offensive group consisting of eight Storm Z assault units and intense fighting isn't going there, with some positions changing hands several times. The enemy's goal is to break through the defenses of our troops and advance directly to Kupiansk. The fighting is now extremely intense, said Sirsky. The commander said that at the same time the Russians were advancing from the area of Novoselivsky and attempted to cut off the Ukrainian defenders group with a flank attack and encircle some of the brigade's units holding the defense there, but to no avail. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.